Today is scary time, so today we are diving into the world of Undead Nightmare, so enjoy this video, guys. Undead Nightmare accepts. Create a new saving. Okay. Let's go, guys. Already looks After so scary. Months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's arriving at this ranch. And that nightmare. Oh, damn, Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say. Damn this awful son I've raised with his half pollutant ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. John Marston has arrived. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Nice. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. It's officially it's beginning, guys. Out. Either that or... I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. Me. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of... Scary music. That's the leaps I hope it's not copyrighted. It. So, anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is 
absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried get about some Uncle? sleep, boy? Sure. But he'll have to wait till morning, just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. Look at the stars. So beautiful and bright. No way. You okay, old man? You don't look Uncle. so good. <laughs> Uncle! <laughs> Uncle drank a little bit too much. What is going on? What the hell is wrong with you? Crazy old No way. Where are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. What is this going on the other side from the, from the house? Run, Abigail, run! Run! No! No! Uncle, you dumb son of a bitch! Stop! <laughs> oh shit! What's up, man? You're going too far this time! Get on my property! Oh, poor I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well, you okay, darling? You okay? Oh, Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack, yeah, I can't believe that. Here. Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama? Careful, boy. Mama. No, stay away. Stay away. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay right there, the pair of you. <laughs> Don't make me no widower now. Run, Forrest, run! No way. <laughs> oh! Abigail! Sorry, darling. It's for your own good. Oh. Jack. Stay away, boy. You've all gone crazy. If you act like a child, I'll treat you like one. <laughs> That's cool. I can't believe I was scared to play this game when I was little. I'm glad I didn't play it. <laughs> now, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick crazy bastards or what I've done to you, but... I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting <laughs> chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. <laughs> If I will play this game when I was little, I will be having nightmares, I think. I'm glad I didn't play it. Who's that? Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if 
find help in Blackwater. Do I get a horse or I need to call my horse? Yeah. Come on, boy. Let's go to Blackwater. Mm. Map. I find help in Blackwater. Over there. It's not so far away. Let's go. Let's go, boy. I'm excited what Blackwater will bring us. Look at the sunshine, guys. It's amazing. Although this game is from 2010, it looks truly amazing, to be honest. Come on. Looks even better than some games nowadays. Yeah. We have arrived. Oh, what's happening? It doesn't look so good. Wonder what happened to these folks. I wonder as well. You're not the only one. Let's go. Let's keep running and running and running, man. Yeah. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research. <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man. And I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why ain't that dandy? Well, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, well that sounds great and all, but uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander <laughs> down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. No, man. Stay here right wait. now. You should stay with me, Professor. Yeah, man. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him. Uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, uh, but a good sort. <sighs> okay. Something will happen to him, well, I already know. A couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <sighs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Bye, have a good time. Well, that ended as well. <laughs> Next time, try not believing in reincarnation. Search more survivors. Let's go. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, you have to give them headshots. Let's go. No! No! Hey! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is actually very scary. <laughs> oh! Guys, there's so many of them. I didn't know that. What? 
We actually need to kill them first. Oh! Stay away from me! Shit! Oh, guys. <laughs> I'm such a pussy player in this game. No. It feels like good old times from Call of Duty. Oh! Where do I actually have to go? I have to go on the roof or something. Hey! Hey! Be me, let me be, let me be, please. Ooh. Guys, this actually feel it feels kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hello? Anyone here? It's fun. I like it. Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. <laughs> I mean, come out. They come on family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mama rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. And they were happily married 20 years. I'm sorry. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. And then boom! She ate my daddy. You weren't you weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure, he liked to drink, but but he weren't bad. And sure he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister, he weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite. He's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No, I already see I'm my gonna mom. have a look. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister. Don't worry, miss. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. From Martian got this. Mister! If you see my uncle Mordecai, you burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? I will try to do my best. Get out of the way. It's John Martin time right now. Come on, horse. You have no time to lose. Yeehaw. Let's save this town. Uh, can I jump over this? No, I will just like go between this door or yeah What do you have to do? Burn these boxes? Burn coffin. Let's go. No way <laughs> Oi Hey, hey, hey! Whew. Let's burn those coffins as fast as we can. No! Stay away from me! Man! <laughs> What's wrong with you? 
it's over. Free. Let's go. Let's go to the next coffin. I think this will be the last one. Put them as fast as possible. And run. Clear out the graveyard. Maybe I'll, it's best to take my gun. Oh. Ah! It's been a long time. Let's go. Also, I have that eye, I forgot that. Oh no, big willy! Big willy! The end boss. The graveyard end boss. Oh. Oh. I'll make you wish you'd stay dead. Now it's shotgun time. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Blackwater graveyard cleans. That's one of the list. My horse is chilling in the back. <laughs> My horse is chilling at the graveyard. Return to Blackwater. Let's go. Horsey. Horsey. Let's go. Come on. I need help over here. I need help over here. Assist the survivors and lessen the undead presence. Oh. Let's go. Kill those zombies. We go to the green one. Can I get up there or? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Go away! Man. <laughs> oh. Let's get up there. I hear zombies. That's no good. Huh? Get away from me! I have to be here or what? Can I go to the door? Oh, I hear something. I don't like that. Oh! Get away from me! I'm actually a noob at playing these things. <laughs> I need to go upstairs, but I don't know. There's a kind of door. That I can go through, but I need to open this one. I need to open the container. I'm so stupid. That's more I'm like so it. stupid. I was thinking I needed to go upstairs. I'm so stupid. What on earth is wrong with you creatures? Kill the remaining undead. Save the town. No problem for me. I'm John Marston. Consider yourself cured. Oh. Now stay 
Steunen! Search for more survivors. Horse. Where are you, boy? Yeah. Let's go. Folks okay? Oh, just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. And I pay my taxes. Well, usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. What in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Doreen. Not this again. <laughs> you, you, your daddy was a, a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. See? That filler ain't hot. Let's go search more survivors. Over here. You one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Don't come what? No closer. Guys, I didn't even know he wanted to say he didn't I didn't even know he wanted to say that. how do I know? That was just coincidence, I swear. I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them! No, I ain't! Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, alright? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with a glass eye, he caused this. No, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. Hey, don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently, it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh. Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's <laughs> glad he's dead. <gasps> well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now how are we going to rebuild America like this? Well, see, you I want to decided We was going to be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader. Who happens to be me? Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America. And good luck. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and then oh, we no. would be leader. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravy. Do you guys see that? Well, I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. I must be dreaming. I think. Oh no! Go away. That one was fast. I think I'm going to.
I'm doing, I think I'm going to to the house. I'm going to the house and save the game and end this video right here. If you guys want to see more of this, um, if you guys want to see more of this, be sure to give this video a like. I really appreciate that. It helps me a lot. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I see you guys in the next videos because I'm going to make a lot of gaming videos. Um, when Call of Duty comes out, I'm also going to play that. When Assassin's Creed comes out, I'm going to play that as well. And if you have a game suggestion I should play, leave it down below and I will look into it. No! I will look into it. Man, I thought every, every zombie was... Was dead. Okay, so... <laughs> that was an unexpected ending. So, if you guys like this, like the video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys, have a good day.